Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to be going through using uh, variables in your program. So again we're going to need Alt F11 and Alt F8 and so what, what's a variable? A variable is uh, what programming uses to store information in memory. So when you create a variable it will automatically allocate a section in, in the computer's memory for you to store information. So if I open up a new module and I start a new sub, say sub add cells. Now I'm going to show you a quick useful keyword which is with and whereas before we were writing this workbook dot sheets one. Whereas before with cells and range we were writing this all out every time if you put in with and end with then anything between with and end with is going to automatically start with this with these objects so all you need to do is just put dot rip or dot cells just makes it a lot your coding a lot neater. It's not necessary, you can write out this workbook or sheet sheet one every time, but it's just it just tidies up your code and it makes it a lot easier to see everything on one screen. So how do we use variables? So let's say we've got one here and two here. And then this box we want to add this cell to this cell to make this cell. I already showed you before that you can do it with uh, making that cell equal to that cell plus that cell, but there's a lot neater way of doing it and that is by going um, declaring variables. So if we have, to declare a variable we put dim and then we want cell1 and you name uh, the variables in the same way that you would name the things. They all have to be one word and you can have numbers but the first letter can't be a number and you can use underscores as well but for now. And then you declare what type of variable you're going to be using. So with this one we declare it as an integer which is any number there's a whole number so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but you can't have like 1.5 or 2.6 or like 3 quarters or anything like that so cell 1 as integer and then we also want cell 2 as integer now you can either write out a new line for each new variable or you can just put comma and this is saying uh, set cell 1 and cell 2 as variables that take an integer value and then how do we provide a value to these cells? Well, if we have cell 1 equals 5 and then that puts the value of 5 into this variable and say if we have cell 2 equals 10 and then that puts 10 into the variable cell 2. Now when we're doing calculations we can then have cell 1 
equals sal two plus five or what's probably better is cell three equals cell one plus cell two and notice how I put the space in and it didn't work so make sure you leave the any spaces out and we'll just declare cell three as an integer as well so cell 3 equals cell 1 plus cell 2 and then we want to display what this is giving us so if we make this cell which is 1 2 3 say and 8 say 8 rows 3 columns so we want we don't have to write this word but dot sheets anymore because we put it within this with statement so we can just do dot cells bracket row 8 comma column 3 dot value and then we want to set that equal to cell 3 and so if we run this now alt f8 run and that cells become equal to 15 it's coming equal to 5 plus 10. But what I wanted to do was make it equal to this cell plus this cell. So instead of having the cell 1 equal to 5 and the cell 1 equal to 10, I want to make cell 1 equal to whatever's in this box here. So we put it to this workbook dot sheets, but we've already got that because it's in the with statement. So dot cells bracket and it was row 8 and column 1 dot value this assigns whatever value is in 8 and then 1 to this variable here and then if we do the same for cell 2 so dot cells bracket row 8 column 2 dot value and then this will take whatever values in row 8 column 2 and assign it to cell 2 then it will continue to add cell 1 to cell 2 so we should get 1 plus 2 uh, which equals 3 and then it should make this cell here with row 8 column 3 should make that fifth, uh, 3 so let's run this run and free that's what we want it now you can also use the variable that you've just used to declare itself so we could have cell free equals cell free plus five So if we play this now, then Alt F8, run, and becomes 8 because it's set itself to 3 and then it's set itself to its own value plus 5. If we copy it into it again, then it comes out as 13 because it's taken its own value plus 5 so it's become 8 then it's taken its own value which is 8 plus 5 so it goes to 13 and sets itself as 13 so I'm coming up to the end of the my time limit so I'll continue this in the next tutorial and go through how to multiply divide and uh, different numerical operators so thanks for listening and I hope you listen in again soon